What's up, Gemini's? Um, I am a little sick. I just have a cold though. It's not anything too serious. Um, at least I don't think it's serious. <laughs> Uh, thank you guys for being here with me. This is going to be for the month of January. Uh, see what you got coming in for the new year, Gemini. Um, and thank you for subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. If you haven't already, make sure you do. <laughs> of course, if I resonate with you. All right. Won't take nothing personal. It's all right if people I don't resonate with you. There's no worries. There's thousands and thousands of readers on YouTube. Okay. So, but thank you for being here with me. Those of you that feel I do resonate. Um, I just want to make sure you know that these messages are provided to you from a place of love, light, and guidance. Just trying to help you on this journey we call life. Right. All right, gems. <clears throat> Let's see. For my beautiful Gemini. Let's see what y'all got going on in the month of January. Oh, we have shark. <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so the shark represents being a risk taker, um, having power, listening to your instincts, and taking action. So basically listening <clears throat> to your inner voice listening to your inner voice and just taking a risk could be towards someone that you feel you know feelings for or just a risk in life in general but we're gonna get more into that Oop, the rabbit energy tried to flip out usually talks about a clever person a lucky person kind timid shy you know rabbits are usually really like you know scared really cute little animals let's see uh this could be you your person how you view your person how your person views you you have the scorpion so being called to transform cutting out toxicity so a, a time of transformation right now libra got the same thing they were like you know nobody could tell them nothing <laughs> that was the energy i was getting from their readings you guys have a lot of powerful energy here you have the jaguar this is like a ferocious aggressive uh, go after what you want leader a very methodical person abundance Ooh, this is nice you got some good cards here you guys could be dealing with the scorpio by the way with the scorpio here and then mutual energy, we have the rabbit on the bottom of the deck. Isn't that funny? A problem solver, kind, lucky, clever, kind, compassionate. Oh, well, kind is on there twice. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so maybe someone is feeling a little scared to come, you know, to get close to you or to approach you because they feel like due to your transformation or maybe they feel like you've changed as far as how you treat them. Um, like maybe at one point you were more submissive <coughs> or more like, you know, shy. Now you're like, you know, out there. Like you're very direct. You're very to the point. Um, hmm. and someone could feel like coming towards you is a risk. You know, could be a risk. Or maybe after someone goes through deep transformation or change, that's when they'll feel the, you know, um, power to come towards you. Let's see. Oh, we have heart, the love card. That's the number eight. Oh. Love. Is love on your mind, Gemini? Do you have a special someone on your mind? Ooh. Harmony. Peace and harmony trying to come out. <clears throat> Maybe somebody feels like, or you could feel like this about someone. Like you guys, you know, like you would chop their head off if, <laughs> if they say some dumb stuff to you. Like, oh no. <laughs> Excuse me? You know what I'm saying? Like that type of energy. And they're just like, I just want to love you. <laughs> I just want to love you, Gemini. 
Why you gotta be so mean? <laughs> no, what's that song? Why you gotta be so rude? <laughs> Are y'all being rude, gems? <laughs> oh, wow, distractions. Libra had this card too. You, that's number 11. Angel number. And you have surrender on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. You're, you are either feeling like you have to surrender to a situation or someone is feeling like that about you. Like they just have to surrender to your new way of being. <laughs> you know? With that distraction, distraction card. Hmm. Do you feel distracted, Gemini? Are you right now being distracted by other things going on? Hmm. We do have options, Gemini, or options presenting themselves to you at this time. Gems, consistency, patience, try to come out. Consistency, hmm. What is that speaking to? Let's see. Strength, Hercules. All right, then, Gemini, go on with your bad self. Hercules, who the hell you think you are? <laughs> so you guys may be like um having like this newfound, you know, source of strength. Maybe people are viewing you as being like really strong right now, and that's another. Oh, that's number thirty-one. I thought it said number thir number eleven. Um, people could be viewing you as being like really strong. Um, could be even really attractive too. Oh, and you got Pegasus and Hercules. Excuse me. First off, these two come from the same mytho uh, mythology, right? It's like the same. They are in the same um, the same story, basically. Pegasus and Hercules. Pegasus talks about freedom and Hercules speaks about strength. So, hmm, and sacrifice on the bottom of the deck. This is a new deck, y'all. So I am going to read from the book to see what this says. But I feel like maybe this newfound strength that you're that you're facing right now, maybe inner strength, is giving you, like allowing you a chance, you know, to see how free you actually are, you know? realizing your freedom let me see or it's making you feel more free in general freedom find freedom in the mastery of oneself you cannot control others to be truly free you must cultivate your independence no one owns you but you you always have a choice look to your values in order to make a good decision that's that's right um, and then you have this Hercules, number 31. Let's see what this one speaks about. Strength can take some time to develop, and it is like a muscle in that we must exercise it regularly. Resilience is only part of strength. Discipline and staying true to oneself is a type of strength. That's right. I know it is. Let me see what's this. Number 13. I thought it said 43. 13. What is number 13? No way. Okay, you can be of service to others without sacrificing everything of yourself. Service doesn't need to mean subservience. You can learn to sit with the discomfort of others being unhappy with you. Take personal responsibility and do not shift blame. Some of your biggest goals mean some sort of sacrifice and you should weigh this up carefully. You cannot always fix the problems of others. You may need to set tough boundaries. Beware of boobris. All right. So, so what I get with that one is basically you guys could have been at a time um, feeling like you were um, of service to others and putting others before yourself. Now you're like, fuck that shit. Ain't nobody coming before me. I come first. I'm going to make sure I feel good before this person feels good. And we take it from there. You know what I'm saying? And because of that, you became this Hercules. <laughs> All right, Gemini, I see you. <clears throat> Maybe you guys are realizing that, like, you know, being, um, what's the 
your selfless. I mean, listen, that's a beautiful trait. It's a beautiful quality. It's a, a great attribute to have. However, you can, um, it's bad when it's an extreme. When you're constantly putting others before you put yourself, that's when, it, when it's bad, you know? So you just have to be balanced. There's nothing wrong with putting, you know, others ahead of you sometimes. But all the time, no. Uh, no, we're not doing that. Your integrity, your morals, you know, staying true to you, that's what matters. That's what you need to make sure that you're, you know, um, showing people that you respect yourself, that you're going to stand up for yourself, that you have integrity, you know. And if something doesn't feel right to you, if something doesn't align with you, it got to go, right? It has to go. Like, I could help you, but not at the cost of, you know, compromising my own worth or compromising my own integrity. Like, I'm not doing all that. I love you. I'll help you the best way I know how to. But if this is not, you know, me, if this is not in alignment with what staying true to myself is, like, I'm not doing it. I hear that, Gemini. I agree 1,000%. And people are noticing this. And now those people that you used to put first, they're looking at you like, oh, shit, look at Gemini and this new energy. Who the fuck they think they are? <laughs> I hope um, YouTube, I'm sorry, YouTube for cursing. Hopefully they don't take my video down. All right, you have blowing kiss. Unconditional love, giving, receiving, fairness, love, affection, return. So that talks about uh, re reciprocity. You guys could be dating or looking for someone that makes you feel like this someone you have unconditional love for twin flames yin yang balance union duality uh complement polar opposites hmm gemini interesting do you feel like you met a twin flame sunglasses watching looking perception stalking <clears throat> so someone could be watching you gems as you move on oh, and now the back start the backstabbing card just flipped out as i said that heartbreak pain separation loss deception lies shocking attack this person could feel betrayed by you because <laughs> they see you moving on they see you doing your own thing they're like oh shit, Gemini, i really meant that shit and now you have cutting ties moving on receive what you need progression and arriving that's shit <laughs> Wow, Gemini really did mean they were going to move on from me. All right then, Gemini, I guess so, huh? <laughs> oh my God. Seduction. Wow, Libra got that same card. Do you guys have you guys have to have Libra in your chart or something like that. Gemini, Libra, this happened in the last reading too. Where I felt like you guys were like connecting. <clears throat> Attraction, teasing, hooking up, date, third party, temptation. And then on the bottom of the deck, you have cut down. Cutting out, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment. Maybe you cut someone out. Somebody you felt maybe you were putting first a lot of the time. And now you're just like, you know what? Fuck that. Mm. You know? F that hoe. <laughs> they don't deserve my love. They don't deserve nothing I got to give. I'm moving on. I'm out the door. <coughs> <coughs> I'll drink some water in a minute because my throat. Mm -mm -mm. You know what I got going on. All right, let's see. I have been taking medicine, y'all. I've been taking some night quill, some day quill. The old remedy has been helping me out a lot. All right, let's see. The hanged man, the star, wow, judgment, jeez, the nine of cups, the six of cups. Ooh, you got a lot of major arcana here with the seven of swords on the bottom of the deck. What the hell is that? <laughs> what? Why you have all of that and then you have the seven of swords on the bottom and the five of wands? That's terrible. All right, let's see what I get. Oh, Aquarius. And Pisces energy is here. Hmm. 
it looks like a final decision was made. Um, someone could have had like some sort of, you know, awakening or realization about something within the dynamic within the situation with you guys and um they decided to you know um heal take a moment to heal um there could have been a lot of deception a lot of fighting in your situation a lot of arguing um Someone could be thinking about, like, past times, you know, like, happy times between you and them. There could be somewhat of an age difference between you and this person. Not a major age difference, just, like, you know, two or three years apart. Um, hmm. You know, I'm getting to, like, a work situation. Like, a lot of competition going on at work with that five of wands and the seven of swords hmm. let me clarify these cards really quick maybe someone realizes that you are their wish fulfillment like someone realizes that they see that you are the best you know person for them That nine of cups is kind of throwing me off, though. That's like emotional fulfillment, but that's like the greedy, selfish card. That nine of cups always gives me narcissistic vibes. Judgment again coming out. Some sort of decision was made here. This could be a reconciliation or even just like, all right, I'm done. I'm ending that situation. That's done. Dead and gone. That's what I'm getting. Is that a song? <clears throat> I think that's the song. Justin Timberlake, I think. I don't know. Look it up. Maybe it has. Maybe there's messages in there for you guys. <clears throat> Let's see. <coughs> the strength card. Somebody realizes that they need to be strong and not give in to trying to work it out with you. Or this is you realizing that, you know what? I thought that this was going to be my wish fulfillment. I thought that this was it for me. But actually, oof. Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Actually, <clears throat> it's not. This is gold plated. This is not gold, right? That could be what's going on. Let's see. Someone is sad about that realization. Someone don't like that realization. I'll tell you that much with that Nine of Swords. Ooh, the Hermit? Yeah, someone definitely... <laughs> definitely realizes that the way to go is to just stay single or stay to themselves uh introspect follow their um guides become more like spiritually inclined or find spirituality something like that the hermit hmm and like i thought you was my wish fulfillment i thought this was gonna go long term but clearly this is not the situation hmm we got leo and virgo energy by the way the star with the ten of pentacles and the tower on the bottom of the deck you know what that gives me some sort of opportunity that's gonna come in and it's gonna be very unexpected wow you have the emperor shit the tower and the emperor This, wow, this could be like sudden, like sudden wealth. Maybe you, you own your own business or you have some sort of business that's going to go far for you. Aries energy is here. Wow, ten of pentacles with a star. Someone is, someone's wish is to, you know, have a family, be married, have like generational wealth, have a lot of abundance, like, you know, finance, financial abundance. That's someone wish. Like they see you as being able to provide them that. Or you see someone this way. Oh my God. The seven of wands. 
Okay. The seven of <coughs> seven of wands. The queen of wands on the bottom. Hmm. The Ten of Pentacles, that's like family. That's like, you know, the kids, the dogs, the the abundance, like the, the tangible things, you know, long-term things. But it looks like someone is fighting for this, like fighting for either keeping their family. Somebody's wish is to fight to keep their family together. To fight off any you know potential suitors this could be you or someone else someone that you might have been dealing with judgment with the queen of pentacles oof the chariot cancer energy on the bottom hmm Maybe you decided to just um, focus on yourself right now. Focus on your own energy, right? Raising your vibration and focusing on work so that, you know, your, your finances will improve. Because your wish is to be financially, financially stable at the end of the day. And you're just like, listen, I am not letting anyone get in between that. <laughs> you know? Like, I know what I want for myself. I know the goals that I have for myself. And I'm not going to stop until I get that, until I reach that goal, until I obtain that goal. <clears throat> the chariot, that's what it looks like. She's like, listen, I got goals in this life. And I'm headed towards those goals. So any of y'all that think y'all going to get in my way, remember, we have the seven of swords here on the bottom of the deck with the five of wands. That's a lot of competition a lot of fuckery going around behind the scenes that you probably don't know of. People trying to get in your way. Too many, too many, um, what is it? Hands in the pot? Whatever they say. That little saying. Um, and you guys are just like, you know, I'm going to focus on my goals and where, where I'm headed in life. And I'm not letting anyone get in between that. And I will fight to the death to make sure that that comes true. Wow, this is crazy. You cannot make this up. The chariot. <clears throat> you saw me shuffling the damn the deck. And the card that comes out, the chariot. I'm telling you, there's a lot of competitive energy. A lot of people look at you like, wow, how come you got that? And, you know, like, what, did you, what am I doing wrong? <clears throat> well, clearly you're doing a lot wrong, Paul. You're doing a lot wrong. If I'm obtaining my goals and I'm getting to where I want to get to and you still stuck over there, you're doing a lot of things wrong. But don't look at me with that hate. I'm good on that. <laughs> so you have cancer energy here now. Or maybe you guys could be looking at someone <clears throat> and saying, that's the person for me. And making that choice. Yes, still focused on your finances with that Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Still very much, you know, focused on the goal as far as finances are concerned. But <clears throat> as far as who your choice, who, you're, who you want to marry, stuff like that, with that Queen of Pentacles and the Chariot. That's someone who's a nurturer. Someone who is about their goals in life. Someone who takes the good with the bad and who's willing to fight for whatever they got, right? Or whatever, wherever they're headed. Won't go down without a fight. You guys could be looking at this person and saying, you know, that's my person. That's my person. Or that's the type of person that I want. Someone who there's not going to be any games or any having to figure out. No math to do. <clears throat> Just very open and honest with me about their intentions. Nine of Cups with the Ten of Swords. You see, I told you, narcissistic vibes. 
I told you, you got the Queen of Wands in the bottom of the deck again with the Three of Pentacles. Hmm. Ten of Swords speaks about endings. You have actually two tens here. So, yeah, there could have been some sort of ending with someone. Well, that's what I got here with the Hangman, the Strength card, and the Hermit. That's like someone realizing, like, I need to be strong. I need to, you know, gain my, my independence, gain my inner strength to move on from this situation because... The situation is not giving me what I need or what I want. And someone was over there acting all selfish. They probably betrayed you a few times, right? You found out about it and you said, to hell with this. I am out. <laughs> I am out. I know exactly where I'm going and it ain't here. Judgment again. There is a, some sort of decision that you are needing to make. You are being divinely guided to make a decision with the high priestess here some sort of final decision gemini so or and it's probably a decision that's not gonna let you sleep at night you see that nine of swords something that causes you anxiety but you need to make that final decision and stop living in the past because whatever happy times you had in the past that shit is dead and gone remember the song i was getting that shit is dead and gone that's it it's gone it's done after you got over that shit, you got this coming in. Ace of Cups. Newfound romance. <laughs> All right, let's see. That's my evil laugh, y'all. In case y'all didn't know. <laughs> In case y'all didn't know, that's my evil laugh. All right, let's see the Six of Cups. <clears throat> what is the Six of Cups? Whatever you feel intuitively that you need to give up on, it is time, Gemini. It is time. The time is now to give it up. Give it up so new things can come in because the universe is sick and tired of seeing y'all already doing the same thing over and over and feeling the same way. Look, another 10. The 10 of cups now. And the 7 of swords again. What the hell is this? Are you guys lying to yourselves about how the situation is going to turn out? I'm telling you, it's not going to turn out good. All right? If you stay in a situation that you feel intuitively that you need to let go of, it is not going to end good. You're having those thoughts and those feelings for a reason. Listen to it. Okay? Oh, the four of wands try to flip out. That's beautiful. That's amazing energy. What the heck just happened? Hold on, y'all. Excuse me. Diffi technical difficulties. My damn card just flipped out the freaking deck. All right, let me see this. I'm gonna so <clears throat> Maybe there was a lot of deception in the past. The Hierophant just tried to flip out, too. That's Taurus energy. Maybe somebody keeps thinking about a past time with you where you either lied to them or they lied to you. Like they're stuck on that. Stuck on that type of, you know, past energy. Page of Cups. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. All right. The wheel is getting ready to turn in your favor, gems. That's good. That's good energy. You have the three of pentacles here, too. You guys could be um working on something. You see how they're working on that sculpture, that little, whatever this is, statue. They're working on it. So, wow, the page of wands. That could be a new idea that you have. Oof. This is nice. This is really nice energy here coming in for you guys. The Page of Cups with the Seven of Swords. That's like <sighs> apologies. Did this person apologize or do they keep apologizing for the same thing over and over? Maybe you guys feel like that. Like you you keep on apologizing for the same thing over and over, but it's like it goes nowhere. You still feel stuck. I'm telling you, whatever you feel divinely guided to let go of, you should be letting it go. You really should be letting it go. Just want to say. And um, that page of cups, that's like really immature energy. You know, like this person clearly, I mean, that could speak about something new, but I don't, I don't. Mm. 
the card. It's just, that's like a young person in the card. And this looks like one of those little bags. You know how you, when you go to the fair or the carnival or whatever, you win those little fish, those goldfish in the bag. You know how the kids be all hype, happy? Yes, I got a new fish. The fish dies in like three days. But anyway, that's immature energy. Maybe this person, this could be somebody from the past who wants to come back in, but I'm trying to say like, you know, they're different or whatever the case is, but really they're not. They're the same with that page of cups. Hmm. Birth. Universal energy brings you opportunity and possibility. Patience. Slow down, change your attitude, and clear your mind. And then you have the beware card. Be careful who you trust at this time. Alright, so y'all need to be careful because, like I said, and with that Seven of Swords, Five of Wands there, it looks like there's a lot of competitive energy here. I don't know what you guys do for work or what, what the situation is really, but it's looking like you're needing to be careful. Be careful who you keep around you. Be careful who you tell your, you know, shit to because it don't look like people have the best of intentions for you. Like I said, they're looking at you like, how come you get into that? And we still stuck over here. <clears throat> People are terrible these days. It's like so low vibrational. Instead of being happy for you and celebrating your gains, they look at you, they look at it as competition and intimidation and threatening and just ridiculous energy, honestly. I am not of this time, y'all. I am here in this time. I am not of this time. We have the star again, heavy Aquarius energy, y'all. King of Pentacles. The qu First off, this is beautiful. Look at this. What the hell is this? <laughs> this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is what's next, y'all. Your wish fulfillment. <clears throat> it's like your intu your intuitions is telling you that you're about to, your dreams are about to be fulfilled like and they're facing each other this is beautiful y'all look at that wow with the star do you see this do you see this energy that's beautiful <laughs> the star and then on the bottom of the deck you have um the high priestess and the queen of cups that's like real like a lot of intuition the queen of cups is intuitive as it is but combined with the high priestess that's like someone who could even be psychic someone who could even be psychic wow 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 that is beautiful or maybe you're feeling like really spiritually drawn to someone someone who you feel like is cut from the same cloth you know what i'm saying like someone who just gets you Someone who you understand them without even needing to say much. And they understand you. <clears throat> it's like one of those types of um, situations. You know, like, I get you without having to say so much. And you get me without having to say so much. It's like you guys could almost read each other. Say, fill, finish each other's sentences almost. Ooh, with the Wheel of Fortune. I see a lot of good, good things coming in for you, Gemini. This was, this is beautiful. The only thing is whatever you're feeling like you need to let go of, please let it go. 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 It's okay. It's okay. All right? You might have a lot of competition at work or people around you who see your finances growing or see that you're always happy or that you have very high vibrational energy and <clears throat> they look at it as competition. Like, oh, how come you always happy? You know what I'm saying? Just like haters basically never mind that <laughs> never mind that you remain strong you remain compassionate you remain kind you remain being a good human all right and forget all that other stuff 
<clears throat> all that extraness. It's really just extraness. It's stupidity. And please be careful who you trust. But what I see coming in for you is beautiful. The star could be even an Aquarius coming in for you. Or someone who you just view as wish fulfillment. Or someone who has those qualities. Like Aquarian qualities. Um, who's just very like unique to you. You love them. That is your person. <laughs> you feel that they're your person. Alright gems. So that's what I got for you for the month of January. You have a lot to look forward to. I love you guys so much. Um, if you need something a little bit more specific, you can book a personal reading with me down below. Um, I love you guys again. Please be sure to subscribe. Um, like, please like my videos because that's how we get it, you know, in the rotation. <laughs> um, and comment as I like to hear your guys stories. It, you know, it, it makes me it makes me feel good. All right, y'all. I love yous again. Have a good night. Bye bye, gems.